Okay, so in this problem, we're told if five liters of antifreeze solution with a specific gravity equal to 0.8 is added to four liters of water to make a nine liter mixture, what is the specific gravity of the mixture? So uh, I kind of drew what we have going on here. So we have this antifreeze and we're going to be adding it to this solution of water. So we're adding five liters of antifreeze to four liters of water. And I just denoted them with W and M or sorry, W and A, A for antifreeze. Uh, and w for water and so what we're trying to find here is uh, the specific gravity of the mixture so you need to know what specific gravity is okay so i'm adding this in because i don't think my explanation for the specific gravity of the mixture uh, was explained well enough but essentially what specific gravity is it's the ratio between the density of the mixture and the density of water so basically it's just the density of whatever your substance is divided by the density of water so in this case we're trying to find it of the mixture so we're dividing the density of the mixture by the density of water. So it's always the density of water on the bottom. The only thing that changes is whatever you're finding the specific gravity of, you just do the density of that. So in this case, we're doing the mixture. So we do the density of mixture. Uh, yeah, but yeah, so uh, let's carry on. And so this is what we're going to be using to solve this main formula. And we're also going to be using the formula uh, density, which we denote with rho is equal to mass over volume. Right, so notice we know the density of water, but we do not know the density of the mixture. So in order to solve for this, we need to get the density of the mixture, right? So we need the density of the mixture. And how do we get that? So the density of the mixture, we know that density equals mass over volume. So we're going to be needing the mass, right, M. And let's just say M uh, stands for the mass of the water and the mass of the uh, antifree solution. Right, because we're doing, we're trying to find uh, rho m, which is the density of the mixture, so we can plug it in here. So density equals mass, and so it's the whole mixture, so we have to add them both up, right? The mass of the water and the mass of our antifreeze, and then uh, it equals mass over volume. So this would be the volume of the antifreeze plus the volume of the water. And so we know what the volume of the antifreeze and the volume of the water are, uh, but we don't know what the mass of our solution is so now that's what we need to solve for now so notice we're just going step by step so i know i need rho of m and then i need in this formula i need m so now we need to solve for m so what is the mass of our uh, entire mixture here so we know mass if you multiply both sides by v mass is equal to volume times density so we have the volume of our uh, or sorry the density of our antifreeze solution multiplied by the volume of our antifree solution, right? Because density or mass equals density times volume. Uh, and then we also have to add the density of the water plus the volume of the water, right? So notice uh, I basically just broke this formula down and wrote it in terms of density and volume. Uh, but what we don't know here is the density of our antifree solution. So we're going to have to rewrite that using the information they give us. So they give us the specific gravity of our antifreeze, and they tell us it's 0.8. And as I said before, specific gravity is the ratio of our substance, in this case, the antifreeze, divided by uh, the ratio or the density of water. So this would be that. And so if we want to replace this with specific uh, gravity, right, our rho A, we would just multiply by rho W. And that would give us uh, this in terms of what we want it to be. So... Let me go ahead and replace this. So all I'm doing is replacing rho A with specific gravity because that's what they give us. So we have S, specific gravity of our antifreeze, multiplied by the density of water, right? Multiplied by the volume of water uh, plus, or sorry, the volume of our antifreeze uh, plus the density of our water multiplied by the volume of our water. So all I did was replace this basically with that rho of A. And then now we can actually just go ahead and plug this back in here because we basically know everything now so uh, let me go back here so basically we need the row of our mixture right because we need it here to actually solve it's going to be equal to m which we just solved for sga multiplied by rho w va plus uh, rho plus rho uh sorry i got mixed up rho w times vw and then you would just divide by, right, we just plugged in M. So just plug this into here, this formula. So we're dividing by VA plus VW. 
And so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go ahead and factor out uh, the row of the water or the density of the water since it's in both terms. So we have row W, and then this is going to be multiplied by SG, let me actually like this, SGA times VA plus V of the water divided by VA plus VW. Uh, and so now we have it like this, right? So we have a uh, row of the mixture. And what we're going to want to do is plug this into uh, this formula right here. So we have the density of the mixture now. That's what we just solved for. Let me write that. I didn't write it here, but keep in mind, all I did was just simplify this into that. Um, and yeah, so the reason why we factored out this row W is when we plug it in here, they're going to cancel. So the row W is going to cancel and basically SGM, right? This uh, specific gravity of our mixture is equal to, let me just write it out, SGA, VA plus VW over VA plus VW. Uh, and then just divide by, right, because this is uh, row M, or the density of our mixture, divided by the density of the water, or density of water. Uh, and then these will cancel. So it just equals SGA. VA plus VW over VA plus VW. And we actually know all these values, so it's really just a matter of plugging it in. So uh, SGA is 0.8 times uh, the volume of our antifreeze solution, which is 0.5, because that's what we're adding, plus the volume of the, or sorry, not 0.55, 5, uh, plus the volume of our water, which was 4 liters, uh, and then we just add them up. So 4, or the volume of our antifreeze is 5 plus 4. So if you go ahead and plug this into your calculator, 0 0.5 times, or 0 0.8 times 5 plus 4 and then divide by 9, you get 0.88888 repeating. So it's going to be equal to 0 0.89. Uh, and then keep in mind, there's no units for this. So just 0 0.89, that's going to be the value of your specific gravity of your mixture here. So SGM. So 0 0.89, that's going to go ahead and uh, be your answer. Just a quick rundown of how we did this. So I knew I want to solve for the specific gravity of a mixture. Specific gravity is the ratio of your substance uh, or the ratio of the density of the substance, right? Rho m divided by the density of water. So the ratio of rho or the density of the mixture divided by the density of the water. Hopefully that makes sense. It's kind of worded weird, but uh, yeah. So basically it just equals density of the mixture divided by density of water. So I know we know the density of water, but we need the density of the mixture. Um, and so I know the density of the mixture, right? Density equals uh, mass over volume. So I know the mass of the, uh, mass of the mixture is just we'll denote it with M, and then it's divided by volume. So we have to add up both volumes, the volume of the antifree solution and volume of the water. And I know the mass of it is the mass of the water plus the mass of our antifreeze. That's the total solution, right? And then I just broke it down. So the mass of ours, I just broke it into density times volume to replace the mass for both of them. And then I had to replace the density of the antifreeze with the specific gravity. So I use this formula here. Specific gravity equals the density of the antifreeze divided by the density of water. Uh, and then I just plug that in there. And then it's really just a matter of plugging this into the density of your mixture. And then you can factor out the rho w. And then you would just plug uh, the density of your mixture back into our original. It will cancel the density of water, and you can just go ahead and solve. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, the main takeaway is the specific gravity is the density of whatever your substance is divided by the density of water. So it's that ratio right there. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to go ahead and be your answer, 0.89. And hopefully you found this video useful.